Morning, Buzz. How are we doing? Very well. How are you, Alex? I'm good, man. I'm good. So, yeah, fairly odd one uh, this week, but yes. highly regarded this year. Uh, what do we have? Yeah, so we've got a triangle of sadness, which, uh, yeah, is very bizarre. Um, it's got a, a big... It's, it's a good take on uh, maybe the modern world, how it is today, and the wealth uh, that Absolutely. surrounds it with certain people. It's got a bunch of great actresses and actors in and a very interesting director but uh, we'll just roll a little clip so you have an idea of uh, what the film's like now. yes has Woody Harrelson in it which is good yeah. to remember because he's one of our favorite actors yeah he's uh, always good in everything yeah <laughs> but let's roll the clip yeah cool yeah uh, yesterday I was up on deck yes and it was so beautiful everything was fantastic but then I saw the sails the sails <laughs> The sails, yes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And they were dirt grey. Hmm. Do you think it's possible to wash them? Well, I don't think that's possible, ma'am, because uh, this is a motorized vessel. Yeah. So we don't have any sails. Maybe it was the, uh, the sun deck roof? What? Are you sure? I'm sure. Magnus! Visst var det vita, kritvita segel på de där båten som vi beställde i katalogen? Ja. Yes, he says yes. It was sales. Magnus says yes. Yes. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. Well then, in that case, we will clean the sails. Okay, right, so... Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's Woody Harrelson right there for you. The captain, he doesn't have a name, he's just the captain. Just the captain um, in the film. Just yeah. the captain, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we are in this world of the uber rich, like the filthy rich. And we're on a cruise ship in this moment in the film. But the film actually has three parts. And it's the first part is about the two models that are yeah. on this cruise ship. Yeah. Uh, the second part is on the cruise ship. And the third part literally flips it a little bit, the, yeah. the film. Yeah, yeah, but, 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 but the, fir the first part's kind of like an introduction to the two very selfish, kind of naive uh, characters, the models, the male model and the female model. I think it's Carl who is played, um, the gentleman is called Carl, and then the um, the really, really hot chick is uh, called Yaya. And yeah. um, there, that, yeah. the, the, there's like a great scene in a restaurant with them two um, at the beginning and um, like showing them their kind of relationship and what it is. And what it is is absolutely soulless and uh, just really kind of no body to it whatsoever. And, um, you know, you're not jealous of either of them. Um, but it's a good way of introducing what them two are all about, really. Um, right. You know, she describes herself as an influencer and he's just a little bit bizarre in the way he thinks. Uh, you know, there's, a, there's quite a big argument about, you know, um, I guess uh, men versus women in terms of the structure of how we are paying for a bill. But I won't Correct. explain any more than that. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I think he comes well, that's across really... Well, that's all enough. Yeah. That's all is enough. He comes <laughs> yeah. across really weird in that argument. And again, she's just soulless to the core, man. But anyway. But then we go, we go on to this cruise ship, don't we? This is like quite... It rushes us into, you know, here they're, them two both are. We're on a cruise ship for free, even though the cruise ship is worth £250 million. Pounds. They've got the tickets for free because I guess what they look like. So yeah. uh, what happens? How do you get introduced to the other characters, Alex? Well, yeah, I mean, in what, what, I mean, don't, don't get me wrong, this is not a formulaic film, like, oh, it's all about the filthy rich. No, it turns, it consistently turns it on its head. And we're in the hands of a director that has won, this is his second con, Palme d'Or that he took this year, last year, basically. Mm. Um, and he's nominated for Oscar again. So you are in for a treat of a film. But these people are in a bubble of the richness, the rich because they don't have any tangent with reality. Just as you've seen in that clip, this lady, they're on a motorized boat that doesn't have sails, but because the magazine that she's bought it off had shown a boat with sails, and also Magnus, her ultra-rich husband, says so, it must be having sails. So the captain just understands that and goes, fine, well... So it just goes to show you the complete disconnect from reality that, that they have. Mm. And... It just flips that and it's a critique and a black, sat a black comedy and a satire to that type of world in contrast with the crew. But even some of the crew is completely off 
What's yeah. reality? Yeah, but the ho- the hostess lady who's all orga- like she you know she's in charge of a ship, probably second yeah. in command to the captain who's meant to uh, make sure the experience for the guests uh, is what it is. She's completely lost her way, hasn't Absolutely. she? As well in the film to the point where she, her only service in life is to fulfil the dreams of uh, these filthy rich people, which is just as classless as the rich themselves, isn't it? But you've seen that there is a pep pep talk at one point with the Ooh. with the crew, which is probably early in the in the first scenes when we are on the ship there's a pep talk when she they go you know and she goes to her team which are all the upper deck crew so like that are serving directly the guests yeah, they go like line, and line. we're gonna get and by the end of the trip we're gonna get money 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 and they go into a frenzy of shouting money and literally jumping up and down the whole crew and you're thinking bloody hell that's what drives these people they will live for that but but i mean it's just like this bubble of unreality disconnection complete disconnection from from reality and then something happens on the ship which is one of your favorite scenes Mm -hmm. that i would like to ask you what i mean is this is the second film in a row that we've seen a slightly set piece that is grotesque i would call it (laughs) yeah 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 so so i mean so it's my it's my probably favorite bit of the film so it's probably about you know 20 minute segment of they uh, they all go to this this gala dinner on the ship. Essentially, it's like celebration night for the cruise ship. And uh, the it's food the captain's served, dinner. Yep. Captain's dinner, and that's the first time you actually see Woody Harrison because you don't see Woody yes. Harrison for like an hour, <laughs> yes. I would say. And then he makes an appearance. Finally, he comes out of his cabin and not just drink, you know, drunk singing anymore. But yeah, they all have this luxurious dinner of oysters and this like champagne jelly and stuff. And but everyone gets seasick. So there's this there's this really strange scene of everyone, you know, stumbling back to their rooms and stuff like that. And then that kind of enthralls into one of the oligarchs on the ship having these very uh, political conversations with 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 Woody Harrison, the captain, and it's just like it's almost like a bit of a dreamlike sequence, and yeah, uh, yeah. and yeah. it's very very interesting. But the way the camera work is done in this twenty minutes as well, because <laughs> the ship is doing this, and it, you know it's at an angle, um, it yeah. makes you feel a bit sick watching it. Not just because of the the actions of the people, but it's what they're eating and how the ship is, and it's all a little bit. It's just in overindulgence in luxury and wealth, and I think that's done really well i think if there's any segment of a film i like the best yeah. it's that bit it's done that's very well shout. That, that's a good shout because i think it represents the chaos coming into this perfect world too mm, because yeah. what, the, the, whole... well, the chaos of nature would you say the sea, yeah, well uh, maybe the, the, the chaos of reality because the very next scene is the part where well not the next scene but the next part is where they get on the island and that's literally hell for them for these yes. rich people because they have no idea what's going on it's almost like a bad dream for them because mm. you know they have no servants, they have no money, their money have no power, um, yeah. and they're just left with survival to do. Which is which is a brilliant third act. Because when I was watching the film, I was thinking, "Wow, they're off the ship now, but there's another hour to go in this film, and they mm. get on an island." And this is when I felt is a totally different film because it's it's like Lord of the Flies. I don't know if you remember the book um, yes. when yeah, the, yeah, with the kids stra- stranded on. It, it has that vibe and. It feels like there's really weird stuff going on. They don't go into the island, but they hear stuff from the island. Um, you know, random different people survive. There's, a, I think, there's a pirate among them, isn't it? Um, yeah, the, the, yeah, the, yeah. The stranded people, and yeah. all sorts of things like that. But that just puts all these people that have no con- no connect to to reality, to how the world works, and then they put them in this survive or die mode and at, at that island. point you realize how useless they are to society because most of them are just living off you know the the wealth of stuff that they you know are just lucky to have earned really you know what i mean they don't none of them seem like actual proper honest hard Correct. workers you know which i think a society needs and when the society becomes down to eight people on an island it doesn't work if six of them are you know uh, relying on servants all day essentially yeah. to service their needs it just doesn't function properly which yeah, again is yeah. a, b- a big statement from the film i think you know and in a normal f- society you can't have people like this Cor- correct and it's filled the film is filled with uh, crit- small critiques like that of you know little things of this lady on the ship if we're going back to the ship is when she wants everybody the whole crew to have a, a good time and just 
everybody needs to go on a swim right now on the yeah on the water is it the ride. Russian oligarch's wife yes. isn't it she's just yeah. she's drunk and she's like the crew need to all go for a swim but she again but, forgets that people have jobs to do you know yeah and, but also she says the reason for that is because everybody's equal I mean what a thing to say from somebody like her everybody's yes, equal yeah. so everybody has to, has to have the equal amount of time so I command everybody yeah. <laughs> to yeah, go yeah, on, yeah. The, <laughs> on the ride everyone. Well, that, yeah. that is, it's, you know, it's the Marie Antoinette, let them eat cake thing, isn't it? It's just, Correct. she's, again, yeah. so far gone with reality that she thinks that, you know, an engine worker in, in, in the ship's engine room would want to go for a swim, uh, yes. you know, out of, out because yeah. they're commanded to it. You know, it's a great way of showing it, you know. Yeah. You know, this, yeah. this woman hasn't worked in years. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And she was born so. into it. She actually says, I was born into it. It's not my fault. Or, yeah. yeah, but. Yeah, 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 yeah. What a film, man. What a film, yeah. what a ride. I mean, it's three hours, but I felt like because it's split like that, that last part was a, like uh, like a new episode of the same series, to be honest. Yeah, about yeah. yeah. And I think also when you, when, dicks, when, yeah. You, yeah, when, when you're watching the intro uh, to, to, to the, the introduction to Carl and Yaya as well, that's a different ball game as well. You know, Correct. it's got, it's, it, you know, you think it, it, you're like, what, what one we're going to go into here? And then when the cruise sequence starts, again, you don't even half, see them half the time, yes. really. So, yeah, I think it's very well done. It's very well done. Yeah, it definitely yeah. gets the thumbs well, up for me. We had to, I rented this um, mm. on Prime, but... Um, yeah, it's it's yeah. not. I, I don't think it's in cinemas anymore because it's a twenty twenty no. film. But if anybody no. wants to watch it, will have to pay the five quid to four, see it. But four, definitely four worth 50, it. Four fifty, five quid, something like that. Yeah, yeah. I watched it on Google Play myself. Uh, but it's a lot of streaming services will do it. But it's worth the money. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, sir. Triangle of Sadness. What a film. That will be one to remember, to be honest. Absolutely. Uh, but but yeah. Uh, until next week, I shall uh, talk to you later. Yeah. Take care, Alex. Have bye. a good one. Bye bye.